Hi, my name is Elena Fernandez, and you're watching me on Filmy Mantra. Assalamualaikum, namaste, sister. Kalkeem, so I'm welcome to Filmy Mantra. I'm Hoa Namshik. With you. So, friends, today we have a very beautiful and talented actress, Elena Fernandez, who has recently won the White Cheat in India. She has played with Imran Hashmi. So, let's go and see her because today you have seen her today. कि कितना अच्छा रिस्पांस आया है वाइट चीट इंडिया को तो चलिए जानते हैं इनसे कैसा फील हो रहा है वेलकम टू फिल्मी मंत्रा एलिना थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग मी आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर सो कैसा फील हो रहा है आपको एंड वो कैसा महसूस करें कि इतनी अच्छी पिक्चर का पार्ट हैं एंड क्या कुछ कहना चाहेंगे Well, first of all, it was amazing to be part of a film which is not only entertaining but it's very informative. You know, it's talking about something which plagues the educational system. So I play Imran's sister-in-law. Imran was amazing to work with. Very, very lovely. So for all you Imran fans, he's amazing. <laughs> and uh, it's just a great film that educates the audience on issues that are happening. And but it's told in a very kind of light-hearted, dramatic type way. If we talk about your character, आपको अपने स्क्रिप्ट में सबसे ज़्यादा क्या पसंद था? क्या आपने इस कैरेक्टर के लिए हाँ कहाँ? Let yes, I want to do this script. Well, it was more like uh, it gives background. My character, I play Imran's sister-in-law, yeah. so it gives a background kind of concept to his character, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so I play his sister-in-law, and she's actually the foreigner. Okay. So I was like, yay! I'm even though I'm half Indian, I'm a mm -hmm. foreigner, and um, I just thought, no, this is something I can really, you know, begin with. And it was very Indian orientated mm -hmm. as well, you know. It wasn't like a typical foreign. Thing. Okay, you know, okay. I was wearing Indian wear, you okay. know, I was with like, it was a very like family orientated mm -hmm. like scenes, mm -hmm. like there was an Indian wedding, so mm -hmm. go see the film. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, if we talk about Imran Hashmi and you, and you mm -hmm. bonding cases you have done, okay? how was your bonding on the sets and anything you remember? Mm -hmm. So with Imran, I've worked with Imran before. Most of you would have seen our FHM cover, which mm -hmm. was amazing. Okay. And uh, so he was super lovely then, and I knew he was going to continue to be super lovely yeah. on set. And you know, he's just like just be natural, be the character. Mm -hmm. You know, you just so you you enter into a zone and you just forget who you are and you become that character. And even when you see him acting mm -hmm. on set, he's just phenomenal. You yeah. know, one minute is Imran, then it's Rakesh. Then it's Imran, then it's Rakesh. Oh, right. <laughs> you know, if we talk about your character, it was it was difficult to speak Hindi. Uh, no, so when they give me scripts, I can learn it. It's fine. Like when you speak to me uh -huh. in Hindi, I understand what you're saying. But it's like putting the sentences together to respond. I'm like, where's my script? <laughs> <laughs> can you just show us one example of your, you know, dialogue? Ah, uh, no, you'll have to go and watch the film. Only just one example. I don't, I don't want to ruin it for the audience. Okay, <laughs> that's really interesting. Really, yeah. you have to go and watch the film. Trust me, it's the best way for you to spend a Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. Go watch the film. You know, ये किस तरीके से आपके पास script आई थी और कौन लेकर आया था और आपने जब script पढ़ा तो आपको कोई एक अच्छी चीज लगी हो अपने character के बारे में एक and आप दोनों में क्या similarities हैं? Oh, I have to think of that one. Mm. It's a bit of a trick question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just think like one similarity between you and your character. Mm. Well, even our hair color had to be different. My hair naturally is like jet black. Okay. And for the character, I had to lighten it. So. I mean, is it qualities? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to think. Okay, we were both super happy people. There oh you go. My God. We were super happy. Smile, smile, smile. That was it. Yeah. Okay. Any difficulty you faced while shooting? It it was very hot. We were in Lucknow and it was very very hot. Okay. Indian wear in Lucknow, very hot. Yeah. Okay. Then how did you deal with that thing? Uh, lots of AC and fans. <laughs> like you would see, like as soon as they said cut, uh -huh. everyone would just run to like the fan and the AC. It was unbearable heat. Okay, you have you know many chance that you can go in Hollywood, but yeah. why you work in Bollywood? I just want to know that because it's in my blood. You know, mm -hmm. I'm half Indian. I'm proud to be Indian. I'm British. I get the opportunity, British and in Hollywood. So why not start mm -hmm. where like you know I'm from? Okay, you know, if we talk about the three Khans, who is your favorite one? Shah Rukh. Oh my God! I mean to say, can for the next film you will be opposite to Shah Rukh Khan? We can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish if Shahrukh's watching this, then yeah. But even with Salman and Amir, you know, 
I love Watery. Choose one. Choose one. Shah Rukh. Shah Rukh Khan. Yeah, I love Shah Rukh Khan. Okay. You know, if we talk about the character, which one do you like to play the character? Which is your favorite you want to work or as a work? Mm. For me to act. Uh, I like any character which challenges me, which is different to who mm-hmm. I am as a person, because then that would be really challenging, you know, because then I would have to be someone like opposite to mm-hmm. how I am. So I always like a challenge and like everything is like mm-hmm. a step by step progress. If you talk about your journey, like if you want to say, tell us something about your journey. Uh, about my journey, I would have to say it's been hard work. People only see the illusion of social media. They don't see everything that goes in behind it, you know? It's like an iceberg. You only see the top of the iceberg. You don't see everything underneath. There's a lot of, like, perseverance, dedication, determination, long nights, looking after your body, your health, dance skills, Hindi skills, everything, you know? The full... Like, what do you want to say to these struggles, you know, who come from the different cities mm-hmm. to work over I here? Would say, I would say don't give up. If it's really your dream, don't give up. And there'll be a lot of setbacks. You know, there's a lot of rejection. It's like 99.9% rejection. Mm-hmm. But all you need is that 0.1%. If you really believe in yourself, that's what will shine through. You are, you know, quite, you know, you, we, we can say super hot and beautiful model. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, Kup Surat. So, how does he, you know, uh, mind, uh, idea came up in your mind that you want to become an actor? Uh, so, it didn't come up really. I mean, I was modeling mm-hmm. and then I was doing TV commercials and mm-hmm. then Kapoor and Sun. So, it's been like a natural transition. And I do, obviously, a lot of my charity work. This weekend, I'm talking at, you know, TED Talk mm-hmm. in Goa. So I'm looking, and that, there I'll be talking about my journey mm. as well. So I'm looking forward to everything. TikTok. Is, yeah, I'm doing TED Talk on Sunday. Oh my god! I mean, the, uh, you mean to say you you gonna do the videos over there? Yeah, that's what. Tune in on Sunday. That's what mm. I'll be doing. So I'll be do, talking 20 minutes about the theme is flip the mm. script. Oh. So it's talking about journey, perseverance, determination. Definitely have to tune in and watch it. Okay, you know, uh, if, if, if we talk about, the, you know, how girls struggle to be in Bollywood. Mm-hmm. So did you face that kind of struggle in your life? Uh, for me, because I've got a different look, people yeah. didn't know how to catalogue me. Yeah. They're like, what are you? Mm. And I'm just like, chakaru, you know. Ah, exactly. <laughs> but um, you just work through it. You use that struggle to push you. Mm-hmm. You know, that not everyone's going to like you. You, you could be the most perfect person and there'll still be people that don't like you. You just have to believe in yourself mm-hmm. and just trust in your instincts. Look at the whole world. There's a whole, there's so many different markets mm-hmm. and just push, 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 push. Doors will slam in your face, but you just keep knocking. Yeah, That's exactly. it. You fall down eight times, you get up nine. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Okay, you know, if we talk about the Me Too movement going in Bollywood, so do you believe in Me Too movement and what all things we have to do? You know, if something, this kind of, come up in front of you how how we have to deal you know something it's not about something if i believe in me mm-hmm. too it's more about i believe in justice and i believe mm-hmm. in respect i believe sometimes people are unclear so it's become very mm-hmm. murky you know like lots of you know lives can get destroyed like very easily on social media without people knowing the facts you know it's like it's gossip you know it's just it's trial by social media that's not how the mm-hmm. system works I strongly believe if something's happened to you, then please report it to the police. Yeah, exactly. You follow it that step. Don't, And then afterwards, you can go to social media. But the legal system, even though sometimes it's flawed, it's in place to ensure justice is done. Mm-hmm. There's a big difference between rape. There's a difference between sexual harassment. There's a difference between like what consent is. It, you know, it's laid out very clearly in the mm-hmm. law. What is what? Mm-hmm. That way, if you say, no, you know, this is what happened, the law and the police can say, okay, it's under mm-hmm. this, X, Y, Z. Mm-hmm. If you just go to social media, you know, your case gets watered down. And sometimes actual rape cases get exactly. diluted, yeah. you know. So then so many things go unreported. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not about it being a hashtag, you know. Mm-hmm. It's not a fad. If you want change, then you have to use the power of your vote, you know, when you're voting and everything like that. Be actively involved in your local communities. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. You know, but at a point of time... We don't know he, uh, who is telling truth or yeah, not. Yeah, but then that's why yeah. you have a legal system. Mm-hmm. Because you're innocent until proven by guilty. Until proven guilty. And it's just, 
you it's like Chinese whispers. You don't know what's the truth. Yeah, exactly. Only the two people know. But that's why you have a legal system in place, which will help break down and find. Mm-hmm. And then if you feel if the legal system has been unjust to you, then you go to the media. Mm-hmm. Then you say this has happened. This has happened. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's done in a way for a reason. And I feel that even if something happens and yeah, you feel yeah. that the police don't believe you, still go file your complaint, get that complaint, then you can go to the media and say, listen, this has happened, nothing's, you know, no action has been taken, please help me voice what's happened. But there are some girls who are trying to get the fame, you know, allegations are put in the big, big, like, like, recently, Sanju's uh, yeah. director was put on an arrow, so what do you think, was it right or wrong? You know something, I think it's not just about in the industry. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, it can happen between your friends, mm-hmm. in any workplace, yeah, exactly. family, anything. And I feel that uh, people have to be very careful because you can ruin someone's name like that. Exactly. You know, 20 years of hard work ruined like that. Just exactly. It's like one, one person maybe having vengeance or anything. And if that one person is using the Me Too thing mm-hmm. as a bad thing, it ruins so many honest, yeah, true like, cases. It's about being responsible. Mm-hmm. Following the system, the system may have its flaws, but it's the fairest system for the whole world. Mm-hmm. You know, it's based on British law. You know, it comes from that. Yeah. There, you know, there are protocols in place to ensure that justice mm-hmm. is done. And she's proof that you know people say, oh, but Bollywood's all nepotism. But Priyanka exactly. Chopra, she's like come from hard-working family and she's worked and worked and worked and worked you know she knocked down she kicked down the doors yeah, you exactly. know that's what i love about her you she know, many of the people you know bash her like uh, she married everyone but uh, if she's happy then who cares yeah, exactly. would people would people be saying the same thing if it was the reverse if it was older guy and younger yeah. guy if they're happy then who are you to comment yeah, exactly. What you're just sitting there on a the screen giving your comment. Grow exactly. up. Go do something with your life. Yeah, exactly. She's happy. So mm. whose business is it? You can't say that like, oh, because these people are this age, mm. it's not love. Mm. It's something else. Mm. It's publicity. She's happy. As long as you're over the legal age of consent, yeah. let people be happy. What's the problem? So basically, who's your inspiration? I love Priyanka, he, Chopra. Priyanka Chopra. I love, I love, love, love Priyanka Chopra. I think she's so inspirational, especially mm. with what she does. And she's just, for me, she's a role model. I find her absolutely incredible. So what's your next project? Uh, oh, I actually have two other films. And uh, we have to know about that. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to come back to tell okay. you what the release is. So for now, this weekend, I have the TED Talk, which will be very mm-hmm. exciting. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking forward to it. And you won't be able to escape me in cinemas this year. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my last question is being a woman. Mm-hmm. Okay, you are a woman. And the we say, I checked, I am a woman, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the my point is, you know, uh, you had watched uh, Coffee with Karan, uh, Hardik Pandya, <laughs> Hardik Pandya ne jo comment kiya, ladkiyo ko leke. What was that? W- what's your take on that? Mm. Being a woman, because you know he represent India mm. everywhere, internationally and nationally. Mm. So if we if he comments like this upon girls, then what we will do? You know something. Everyone like has their own persona mm-hmm. and every country has their own persona. It doesn't necessarily reflect the country. You can't say that this one person is responsible for the whole of, mm-hmm. you know, one kind. You've got a population of 1.3 billion people. You can't then say no Karan Johar represents all of that. Mm-hmm. He's just one person with one particular persona that the rest of the country knows. This is how he is. So what? You know, there's like then there's so many other amazing people. You've got your Olympic champions uh-huh. and everything you've got Priyanka who mm. also represents the country oh, yeah, exactly. you've got so many different like facets to the country it's not just one person so aap ko kya lagta hai ki jo hardik ne comment kiya tha wo sahi tha ya galat mera point wo hai i think karan is karan no i think karan is karan is karan is karan yeah karan is yeah karan is karan at the end of the day you live in a world where people can say what they want as long as they're not breaking mm. the law that's why you have free speech mm. you can't just because you don't agree with something doesn't make something like wrong, wrong. it's just yeah. a difference of opinion mm-hmm. it's like if you have if i put like a 9 on the floor from that side it will look like a 6 oh. from this side it's a 9 difference of opinion that's it different thinking you have i can say that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah it's just the, it's different opinions that's it we you should live in a world where mm. 
you're able to have healthy debates and conversations. You shouldn't be always getting hysterical and screaming. No one likes to listen to someone screaming and shouting. You should be able to sit, talk, listen to like, your opinion is different to my opinion. We have a conversation, we discuss. That's how you learn, that's how you grow. That's how you bring about change. I mean, the next question is that you have seen your family in movies. Yeah, I know. Right? So, what was your reaction to the best compliment? My mom showed my priest. That was like quite a compliment from my, from my priest. So, like I'm Catholic and he was like, wow. Wow. Yeah. And I was very embarrassed because this is my priest. This is a holy man. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and he was like, wow. I was like, father. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So... Imran ke saath aapne kaam kiya hai. Phir baad mein humne Kapoor and Sans mein bhi kaafi logo ke saath kaam kiya hai. To which one was better? You know, Imran or the... Fawad. Ah, Ewa Fawad. Different experiences. Different. different experiences, different production houses. Equally enjoyable. So abhi kis ke saath kaam karne ke aapko uftta ho rhi ke ab mujhe is ke saath kaam karna hai. Or is script pe karna hai. Very trick question. Yeah, yeah. Ask me this question when you see the next two films. No, no, I want to say, I want to ask you that, that who is this? 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 Who is Uh, that's because oh we did the cover together and I really like him. I think he's a very nice person. Mm. Oh, also Neil Nitin Mukesh. Neil Nitin Mukesh? Yeah, I've worked with him a handful of times. I like him as well. Okay, so what do you want to say about the fans? What do you want to say the next project? Whatever you want to say, you can say it. About my next project. Yeah. Oh, one of them is a huge movie franchise. Mm. Like very, very big. And I've got interesting projects happening in London as well. So there's Hollywood a, well, yeah, I'm cracking both. I'm following Priyanka's lead. That's oh the plan. Oh my God. Yeah. We can see you in a web series or something. It's, it's a Bollywood movie or Hollywood? Bollywood. Bollywood, Bollywood movie. March may we can say. March. No, I just check out. Yeah, she's going to check. She's going to Google. <laughs> like March. Yeah. yeah. It's a very big film. Thank you so much, Alina, for joining us. Thank you so much. I had the best time. Thank you. Savior. <laughs> we'll meet you next time. Yeah.